Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I've got unfinished business in this sector. I'm going to go out there. Spawn dudes? No spawn dudes. Awesome. And I am going to kill Alberto Tomasi, the former head of communications. Because frankly, he's not doing a very good job while he's an elevated. Since I have already spent quite a lot of time trying and failing to do this in the past, we're just going to jump straight into an elevator transition. Would you stop that? You're ruining the moment. You know, I thought about doing this with, uh... You know, th it would be done this way so far, and then I would suddenly cut to, uh... me having returned to this area from Central Executive, now wearing the director outfit. And I was gonna make a joke about, uh... Well, if I'm going to be stuck in a boss fight, so is he! But you know what? If this is gonna be the last boss fight in the game... I want to succeed at it while wearing the outfit I think is coolest, and that's this one. So, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. I will see you on the other side. This will be the seventh attempt since the jump cut. There you are. Come on, Alberto, get down from there. Punishing! Yeah, sure, let's do that again. Instant replay. And we're running. Don't mind this resonance, it just comes off of the door. It's not the cloaker. Christ. If I could just figure out where your invisible friend is, that would be perfect. I think it spawns there. Let's get on the right side of the railing. Technically, it is the left side of the railing, and now I do this, but you know. Oh, hell. Wait a minute. out really well. There you are, and well, you know, you are in fact trying to get a hit in on me. Oh, fuck. How many arms and legs did that thing have? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Jesus. Get 
Get those dots! Ah! Uh, I didn't even get to do the forklift gag. Oh! There is still a dude here. Well then, uh... Shout out to Conk279 for... bringing a certain pop culture reference to my attention. See, I didn't watch the show, so, uh... It never occurred to me... to do this. I try to kill you with a forklift! Oh my god. They keep spawning even after Kamasi's dead. How did that not set that off? Ha! Victory! Achievement unlocked. Head of communications. Defeat Mr. Tomasi. And the image was, uh... You know those, uh, symbols that appear in the bathrooms? Like little stick figure people? It's that, but an elevated, so it's upside down and its feet in the air. All right. Just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. I just wanted to set my timer since I hadn't actually started it yet this uh, session. Since I knew I was going to need a few tries there. Seven tries, but I put that mf -er in the ground. Take that, you rotten boss! Oh, <sighs> shit. Well, I might as well start reaping the rewards after all this time. Oh, that reminds me, there should be a thing in here somewhere. There was, a uh, the one that you need for to make the guns, uh... There's something about potential, I think it was. Untapped potential? I don't remember. Uh... That one only drops when you, uh, kill a boss, so there should be one of those in this room somewhere. Huh. Like how straightforward that is. That might be the reason why I was unable to, uh, you know, even look at the upgrade for Surge yet. Uh, I also... Oh, I got an achievement during uh, one of those attempts. I forgot to mention. Uh, that's right. It was during attempt number six when this happened. Hell yeah! Achievement unlocked. Multiple applications. Use multi-launch to hit three targets. Nice. So I thought that was neat. So yes, uh, I'm glad I got those achievements, and uh, shout out to Clunk279 for telling me about a Mystery Science Theater reference. Sterling Avenue Summary. Sterling, AWE 46, uh, event date May 4th, 2016, event location Sterling, Colorado. I guess it's a town, not, a, I thought it was, oh, not Sterling, right, right, not Sterling Avenue, Sterling AWE, I remember now. Derp. Uh, a paranatural object appeared in a field outside the town of Sterling, Colorado, near a billboard advertising redacted. No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported as missing since the event. It's, you know, then end, that could be unrelated. Uh, local authorities arrived on the scene and began issuing orders over a monitored line of communications using several watchwords flagged by the Bureau, including Redacted. 
Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained and analysis began. Bureau research staff arrived the next day and examined the objects. They're the object. After redacted days of evaluation, the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in black rock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via the subway transit system leading into the oldest house. Hmm. I mean, it's a giant dodecahedron. I can see that. That doesn't really tell me anything. I just need to find the one that, uh... You know, tells me why this thing is actually, uh... Supernatural and not just, uh... Big. I mean, maybe it was just the world's slowest meteor. Oh, dark over here. Yeah, there really are just big heaping p puddles everywhere, aren't they? Hmm. Or maybe that's what this is. This has been locked off this whole time. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, start with the loot. Much better. Ah, yes, right. Uh, audio log. No, wait, let's go with the text log first. They tend to be actually more informative. Ah, there it is. Sterling supplement. Perfect. Local witnesses report a bright flash in the field. Uh, Yes, same details, just making sure. Always. Uh, a bright flash in the field had approximately redacted. No noise accompanied the light. Hmm. Authorities had assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested there, vaporizing the soil around it in an intense spherical redacted redacted, which possibly explains the light seen from the town. The object is a... That's not a sphere. The object is a hollow sphere made of a stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not redact it on record. Uh, the sphere has a broken portion, as if something redacted from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau. The Communications Department is officially state What? The Communications Department officially stated to the press that the object was a small meteor, while also using the America Overnight program to redact it. See episode 92. Note, this AWA will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe to be transferred to the investigations sector. Man, that was a bastard of a fight. You're listening to America Not 92. Overnight, now in our 29th year, lifting the veil between fiction and reality. But Alan appreciates that. Thank you for staying up with us. I've been getting a lot of calls about this huh. meteor in Sterling, Colorado. There are reports of a large spherical container that crash landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. America Overnight will be right back. I'm confused. I thought that guy was a shill for us. Why would he play up the one that makes it sound, uh... Well, I guess it's, you know, I guess the idea is that it's not really a UFO, but why wouldn't he play up the harmless one? Whatever, man. 
why wouldn't you play up the meteor thing? And you go, folks, we'd want this to be a UFO as badly as you do, but we gotta say this one's a nothing burger. I thought there was one over there. You know, I'm only a little disappointed that, uh... That I forgot Clunk 279's, uh, forklift joke until after the, uh, the actual boss is dead. Okay, I thought there would be one of those things lying around, but maybe it doesn't drop for alternate bosses. Since I finally completed all the story, I was looking into some stuff. Uh... There are only two outfits available to me that I did not unlock, and I feel good about that. One of them, I believe, was called the Dimensional Suit, and it was, uh... You unlock it by completing all the challenges that both Shoom machines have to offer. You know, so Deadline, uh... uh what's the mode I did? Well, whatever. Both modes in Shoom 1, probably the, like, challenge versions of those modes, as well as, uh, you know, doing all the boss fights in Shoom 2. So I would have to fight the anchor again in order to get this suit. Alas. Oh, right. Huh. These explosives, rockets, projectiles imitate first them. Ah, well. Hmm. Oh, no, I do need to fast travel, that's right. Okay. First! Why do I have a quest? The boardroom is lit up. I didn't even have one equipped. I just finished that mission against Tomasi. May he rest in peace. <laughs> I feel really good about that one, I gotta say. Do I have any other notes in here I want to get to? Oh yes, shout out to Gundy's Lackey, who's just been leaving a series of really positive messages on my videos lately. Like, I felt really bad about, uh, the previous one, where, uh, it was just me struggling against, uh, Tomasi and failing over and over and over again. But, uh... He says that every time I come here. Yes, sorry about that. I, uh, just wanted to say that on that video, and I felt bad about it, Gundy's Lackey just left a comment that just said, You got this, BDF. Smiley face. And I really appreciated the, uh, the quiet show of confidence in that. It really meant a lot to me. Okay, now faffing around. We do, in fact, need to go into the boardroom to talk to Emily to finish this quest, so let's wrap it up in the same video where I, I killed that. Tomasi. You keep being you, Simon. Hello, Emily. What does it actually say? <laughs> oh, it's still just the his corrupted Tomasi has been sighted in the containment sector. Sure. I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I 
forgetting as a coworker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're right. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. Oh, untapped potential, huh? I just needed to talk to you. Sure. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. I wonder if they're still going to continue that next time. Well, I saw some fan art where Jesse came into work and the Black Pyramid was painted rainbows. And she goes to Emily and says, Excuse me, what the fuck is this? And, uh... Emily just goes, Oh, June 1st, it's the Pride AWE. Happens every year. <laughs> Apparently the board are one of the evil corporations that likes to appear less evil by changing their logo to rainbows for June. <laughs> Uh, I think I got some... Oh, I thought I got some files on that, but... What? Oh, well, that's right, I did find that, didn't I? Yeah. The other... Yeah, this. This. Excellent. Good. Untapped potential. Which makes me suspect... Ow. I forgot I can't levitate here. Astral Constructs, would you look at that? Upgrade the final mod slot for Surge and increase base weapon damage. Yes, I would like to upgrade Surge, thank you. It's gonna take almost all of my source. Hell yeah. Ooh. And new abilities, but we can look into those on the next episode of Let's Play Control because there's still more things that need to be done. Like, uh, 1234 Andrew Jack Smith told me that there might actually be something in that office where I found the radio playing Take Control. Interesting. But, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time. Later! <laughs>